If you want to see wild animals in captivity, go to the zoo, no better place. Or if you want to see wild animals up close, go to one of our national parks. In this episode, top eight places to spot wild animals in Grand Teton National Park. And we know where they're at. Holy crap. Pretty close, Mark. Fish. Oh, crap. <laughs> the horse whisperer, Mark. There he is. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, the money yeah. shot. Yeah, and we're going to share it with you, so let's get started. Yeah. You know, by no means do we know where every single wild animal is in Grand Teton National Park. Uh, we're yeah. pretty lucky. Well, you know, but we've been there enough times that we know where they hang out. Yeah, that's true. That's I'd true. say, you know, last year we went twice. In the last five years, we've gone at least once a year. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I mean, it is just teeming with wildlife. Everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. Grand Teton National Park, if you've never been there or if you've been there, you know this. It is a gorgeous national park. The scenery is spectacular. You always have those mountain peaks. Oh, my gosh. In every amazing. In every view, in every shot. Everywhere. I mean, anywhere you look. It's amazing. <laughs> it's one of our favorites there. And, you know, whether you're on uh, Jenny Lake or Jackson Lake, that's where we can. We love we Jackson can. Lake. Mm -hmm. uh, it's gorgeous there along the Snake River. Mm -hmm. I go fishing. And that's, that's enough to go to Grand Teton National Park. The bonus, though, is you have all these wild animals. Oh, they're just everywhere. Everywhere. Right. You got your buffalo, your moose. Bears. Deer. Bald foxes. eagles. <laughs> you know, the red foxes, yeah. Elk. <laughs> <laughs> and what were, yeah. those little, what were those little things? The grouse? Yeah, you, we didn't know what we those know, were. I guess they're a big deal. Right. It's a bird. Right. <laughs> But we saw a few of them. So. Right. And we see them up close and personal. Yeah. You yeah. can see them up close and personal in the zoo, but that's just, you know, it's not the same, is it? Right. Because you've got a, a fence or bars in between you and the animals. Yeah. Do you remember when we were going up Signal Mountain and we stopped and then there was a bicyclist going up too? Yeah. And we said, stop. Remember? <laughs> I remember stop. that. Okay. So, so, okay, let's talk about that. That's uh -huh. the, the number... These aren't in any order, but uh, the first place in uh, Grand Teton National Park that uh, you can spot wild animal is going up Signal Mountain, the road up to Signal Mountain, which is just um, south of Signal Mountain Campground. Yeah. Right. And you can see just about everything on this, just a few miles up this winding road to the top. You know, at the top, you get a great view. And also, there's a cell tower. Up there in the <laughs> Signal Mountain, right. We, I we've need been to up, work. Up there many times because you say, I need to call a client. Yeah. Or to get a text Just, or something like yeah, that. Have, and we I go up to. there. Mm -hmm. So when we're in Grand Teton National Park, we probably go up there at least a dozen times. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But yeah, that, that one time... There was the beer, the bear. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And then the, well, and you, the bicyclist. You were, you were talking about that. Yeah. There was, you know, we just stopped. There was a bear alongside the road, just probably 15 feet away. We're yeah. inside our, our camper van, and I'm snapping pictures. Yeah. You're snapping pictures not, there. Not paying attention to who else is coming. Yeah. And a bicyclist comes up. You know, they come up and go to the top as well. And and we've seen this in other national parks, encountered this, where they come up to our open window and go, what are you guys looking at? I'm going, that bear that's 15 yards away, 15 feet away. We've seen those bears, they're black bears. They're not, well, there can be grizzly bears up there, but these, the black bears, they're just, they're in a berry coma. Yeah, he was eating berries. He was. He was. We literally were watching him and he was just pulling down the branches, remember? Yeah. And just eating the berries. Off. It was and I kept yelling, look up, look up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so I can get a good picture. I got some good pictures there, yeah. but uh, oh, we've funny. seen bears up and down there almost every time that we go up there. Mm -hmm. So some other animals on this road, Signal Mountain Road there, mm -hmm. uh, elk. Remember, I Lots mean, every year, mm -hmm. what do we call them? Larry? Larry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Larry the elk. <laughs> it's true. There he is. Oh, yeah. Oh, the money yeah. shot. Yeah. 
Yay! There we go. Uh, Mark's gonna win the photography for tonight. I'm, I'm assuming. I mean, they kind of all look the same, but well, I, I think this is the same guy. I every think year. Larry. At one time, he charged at the van. You remember that? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So you were driving, so I can get some good shots. We had the window down. I was taking a video, and he was just munching away. And then all of a sudden, he, he kind of looked up. He got mad. And then he kind of faked he like he was he coming did. at me. And I panicked, and I hit the stop button. <laughs> so, <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. But, no more video. But, uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, we've seen him many times. There, there's a meadow there. You can see him right along the road. Mm -hmm. um, so they're, they're kind of down lower on the road. Right. Up a little higher. And last time we were there last year, we saw some deer. Yeah, Right. Mm -hmm. Some pretty good-sized ones and, mm -hmm. you know, a fawn mm -hmm. as well. Right. But that's where we also saw the fox. And remember that? The, that the, was after a long day? Yeah, it was great, though. He, <laughs> the fox was just there playing. He was playing with, like, a, a squirrel, maybe. Oh, yeah. Was, well, it was after. A, was remember what I said? I said it was probably after almost 12 hours of chasing wild animals. Yeah, yeah. And we were at, we came from the top of Signal Mountain. We we're going back to our campsite. And you promised. And I said, I'm so tired. I don't care what animal I see now. We're tired. We're hungry. Right. And we want to go back to our campsite. Yeah. And then you saw Mr. Fox. Mr. Fox. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, my God. What do you think he's playing with? Killing. Mr. Fox was playing with this squirrel. No, it's like eating a it. Chipmunk, probably. Ch chipmunk. Yeah. And so, he, but remember, he kept tossing it in the air. Took pictures a long ways away, oh, and I keep so creeping cute. closer, we got thinking. Really close. I to kept him. going closer and closer and closer, mm -hmm. and he I'm was just like, "Hey, hey I'm right here. I'm playing with hey, this hey uh, chipmunk." Yeah. And the chipmunk was still alive, and he so was just kind of throwing it up in the air. Cute. So, okay, so that was the first one. Another one now is Elk Ranch Flats, and that's along Highway 89, which goes north-south mm -hmm. through the park there. And there you can see bison almost almost every time we go through this area. We go Thousands. Well, <laughs> Hundreds. okay. But there can be dozens and maybe a hundred. You see them way, way out there, and, right. then they, and then they just come closer and closer. To right. The, yeah. right along the road. In fact, they even cross the road because there's on one side there's some split rail fencing there, right. and you think, uh oh, they're not, and then they jump over. They it. jump over it. Right. They're super agile. They're right. You big. wouldn't think that. Uh huh. Uh huh. Right. That's true. I mean, they can go, I think, like 30, 35 miles an hour, and they can jump. Uh huh. And and they're always there, and I've gotten some great shots of bison, and. Um, and that's where you can also find turons. Oh, I was just going to say that. <laughs> Took the words right out of my mouth. Uh, the turons are... The turons are tourists. Morons. Morons. Right. And they do the dumbest things. We have so much fun watching... Right, watching the people, Stupid. watching the wild animals and how close they get. The last time we were there, the guy was just sitting cross-legged... <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. ...on the road. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. And just about 20 feet like away. Like daring... Daring the bison just right. to come up and and the bison are, are, are grazing, but they look up and they we've you know seen you them never run. Know. we've right. seen them run at people right. Mm -hmm. right and another time it was this I think it was here or it could have been up in Yellowstone uh, there was this husband and wife and and she, what she was he was getting really close they were both getting close they were getting the selfie with the bison oh, yeah. right behind and then she was pulling him like hey let's get out of here yeah yeah yeah. Very so scary. That's and we also see pronghorn there. Yeah, so they're beautiful. Right? Yeah. And they're graceful and they're fast. Beautiful. They can go like 60, 70 miles an mm -hmm. hour. Mm -hmm. Now they're more skittish. We right. see them, but right. they run away from us. Right. Yeah. A great shot is always getting them with the backdrop uh, the of the um, well, the buffalo, a backdrop of the mountains. Yeah. The Grand right. Teton right, right, right. mountains there. And you know what's so funny is we see um, these beautiful horses painted uh, mm -hmm. they look beautiful mm -hmm. but it's so funny like we live in Oklahoma so obviously we see a lot of horses mm -hmm. here too yeah. but is there something about the horses underneath the backdrop of the Tetons right and we see him there and that gets us to okay so that was Elk Ranch Flats that was number two number three because you mentioned the horses there mm -hmm. uh, let's see the beautiful ranch horses they're not wild horses no. they're, they're ranch horses but they are gorgeous yeah. here and we see them along highway 89 and it's near that cunningham cabin as right. well right and um, what a few years ago 
We, we can go right up to them because yeah. there's a, a fence there, and mm-hmm. you got a picture of me taking a picture mm-hmm. of the of the horse just a couple of feet it's away. Beautiful. The horse whisperer, Mark. Who would have thought? But then, then they do that the that walk thing. Right. They have a dude ranch there. Yeah, the dude ranch. And we figured out that uh, at 5 o'clock in the afternoon every day that they, they put the uh, horses back to pasture, and they cross Highway 89. So I, we just stop there and wait for that. They stop traffic going both ways. The cowboys, and the cowboys right. come out, and they lead this whole group of, I always think they're wild horses. I know they're not, but they seem super wild, and they just run straight across so they can go back to their pasture, across right. the, the road. Right, for the rest of the evening it's a, and the it's night, just a and they Great start sight. over the next day there, but it's gorgeous. These super horses. fun to watch. Okay, so that was, uh, what, the third one. Let's talk about a Schwabacher Landing. Here's another great spot. One of our favorite spots. To, to spot wild animals. And this is also off of Highway 89. Mm-hmm. And it's just uh, off of that. And you have to go down a dirt road for maybe a mile or so. Mm-hmm. And it's, you know, it's kind of ruddy and um, the road. And, and we've seen coyote on that. Right. In on fact, one yeah one time there's a great place to see coyote. Mm-hmm. And we were leaving there and all of a sudden we saw him. It was like he was going back home after being out all night or so. It's like, I think that's what we said. Exactly. <laughs> he was doing a walk of shame. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, he was going home. Yeah. But that's a great place to, to see moose. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Because there's a... Um, uh, water right there, and it's ponded up. Great you, place you have some for pictures. Great pictures, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I mean that's one. There's so many photo ops, and we'll do another one, another a podcast on the great photo ops in Grand Teton. But that that's one of the best right there. Yeah. Well, and last summer uh, that we were down there, there was a grizzly bear sighting. And, right. And then they made us all leave. Remember? Right. Here's we, Mark and I. We're all enamored with this moose. Okay, so we're on one right. side. Right, and then not we, knowing what's going on the other side. Not turning around. It's like I'm looking at the moose, but there's a, a grizzly bear behind me, you know. So we missed the sighting of that grizzly bear because we were so And that, it, we're busy. disappointed when we miss something. Very. We see moose and bears, coyote, ducks. Oh, I love taking ducks. pictures of ducks just playing in the water. Yeah, they are pretty. Yeah. yeah. Swabacher Landing, you got to go there and, and see the wild animals. Okay, yeah. we're kind of going a little bit. Uh, Oxbow Bend Cattleman's Bridge. Okay, now that's one of my favorite places. Oxbow. Um, <laughs> They're all my favorite places. Bend is another photo op. Mm-hmm. Great place because especially in the morning, you know, photographers and I get there, we get there before sunrise. Mm-hmm. And we get that sunrise coming. You've got the right. the Snake River. Right. That's kind of pooled up right there with the um, Grand Tetons behind it. Well, and when we were there last, uh, which was more fall, the um, the elk were mating, right? Mm-hmm. It was rutting season, right. Right? right? And so they make this bugle sound. So we get up at like five o'clock in the morning, and we go over there, and the echoing of that bugling is just eerie, but super cool. And it was it was misty there. Oh, it, was God, gorgeous. it was gorgeous, you know, with the leaves turning colors there, and we hear hear the the sounds. You don't know really how far it is. And you're waiting, and there's other photographers there waiting for them to cross the river. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes, hours. You, sometimes, yeah, you wait hours. Sometimes they cross, and you and, and you get lucky there. And I remember when we were there. I don't know if you were with me at that, that time. It was so misty, and I he did cross. He did cross, but, but you couldn't I couldn't see get it. the picture because yeah. it was. It was just um, cold and damp that day. Yeah, but, you know that's fall. Well, so Oxbow Bend, um, that's a great place to see the elk there, but that's a, a, one of the best places to spot bears, grizzly yeah. bears. And that's Oxbow Bend, Cattleman's Bridge. That's where we saw the most famous uh, mama bear in the world mm-hmm. a couple of years ago, two or three years ago with her cubs. With her cubs. Three ninety nine with her four cubs. They swim in the, the snake. And Okay, when, when there's a sighting of three ninety nine and her cubs... 
everything stops. Traffic stops. Crazy. Hundreds of cars. People get out their their cameras, their long lenses, and uh, we did that. We got stuck in there, and yeah. you know we we want to get that because we want to get that picture of yeah. the Cubs. Oh my gosh! And the mom coming across here. It's so cute. I mean, nothing compares to this. You can't go see something like this in a zoo. I'm just saying. Unfortunately, uh, 399 has severed relationships with uh, her cubs. Yeah, it happens. And I think at least one of them has passed. Um, so, yeah, and that's common. That's what happens. I don't even want to talk about After it. After they're it two, three, four years old, yeah. they they go their own way. Yeah, but they euthanized one. They, is that it? Yeah. Is that what they, because it got too got, friendly. It kept coming into town, and right. so that I guess Jackson Hole, the rangers, they just decided he had to go. Yeah, and that's what, the thing that's about sad. bears, because when they get too familiar with people, right. then they have to get rid of the bear, and that's unfortunate. So when the park rangers... And, you know, they have... That's why you don't feed them. Right. They are not only protecting people, us, from the bears, they're protecting the bears from the people. Yeah. Yeah, but it's sad. It is sad because I know the Jackson Hole people were not very happy about that. They're they're good about protecting the animals. It's usually the Turons that screw everything up. (laughs) (laughs) It's true. But this uh, Oxbow Bend, Cattleman's Bridge, it's Cattleman's Bridge Road is just near the photo op where Oxbow Bend is, and we go down this dirt road. It's about a, a mile down this dirt road to where um, it's kind of an opening of the Snake River where we can float. Yeah, you can't take fish. a very big... We, we have the van, and you'll see a picture of that, but you can't take a very big truck down there. I mean, no. truck, but a regular no. size or a Jeep no. would be great. But it's packed down there. It's, it is. Because that's where you spot... Uh, you can spot bears, you can spot elk, um, and osprey. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, but, lots. Lots yeah. of osprey. Osprey. Mm-hmm. We got a good shot of that there. And then um, bald eagles. The eagles. And then the fishing right there is great. Fishing? Yeah. yeah. I do fishing. <laughs> that's what I do. Fly fishing. But, then, but that's a great place. If you go there and you like to do floating, you can float, right? And it'll float right around there. And so mm-hmm. it's beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How cold is it? Be it's honest. Not exactly the spa. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, but a lot of people will fish and float at the same time, right? We didn't. Oh, yeah. We didn't do right. it right there. We saw a lot of that yeah. there, and ducks. Mm-hmm. A lot of beautiful lots of ducks beautiful there. ducks. Yeah. What the ducks would do is they float down, and they fly back to float down float again. Down again. Yeah. It's funny. It's like a playground. So it, it's. I'd say it's one of our top one or two spots. Um, because we just set up the camper van there. Yep. We fix either breakfast, lunch, or dinner, mm-hmm. set up our chairs, take pictures, just, just wait, wait for, for the for animals a while to come animals. out. Yeah. yeah, it's great. Okay, so that's Oxbow Bend. Uh, another place, Grovant. Grovant. So at first, I didn't like Gravant, right? Right. You, you had to talk me into Gravant. Right. Yeah. It's a great campground there. It's not our favorite. But, it's not uh, super it, it's pretty. For, for bigger units there. It is, and it's it, it's it's not like it's plush with the trees. It's different mm-hmm. because that's why it's known for moose. Moose. Moose, yeah. Moose. Yeah, so, okay. You remember what happened the one of the first years we were there? Yeah. And we camped there for one night, and uh, there's moose sightings all the time, and there's a, a field nearby there. So I, I left. You left. Because... That's where I was going to see a moose. Mark was waiting, running, go, running over there to get a shot of a moose that wasn't even there yet. Okay, he's anticipating. Right. I'm cooking and I have the van door open. Literally, this moose comes by and sticks his head in the van because I had the door open. The slider. Uh, and I yeah. scream. I'm screaming, which is stupid. I know, but it's just it's, well, it startled it's, you. It's scary. Yeah, me. you don't expect a moose to stick its head. Yeah. And I camper. couldn't grab my phone fast. You know, one of those things you're just like, ah. So it would have been a great picture. Yeah. But, you know, that's a great place. The Grovant River is a great place to fish as it well. Is. And you're down there quite a bit. So yeah. fish, that's a yeah. super place. Yeah, it's a great place to fish. So there's one thing about me fishing. I fish a lot. It's called fishing. I don't catch a lot. <laughs> it's not called catching. I said, this is called perseverance. This is like when you lose a deal on a house and then you just turn around and start calling other clients and 
until you find one. So I'm not giving up on this. This is tangled, but it's not terrible. For, for years, you've done this on your own. Right. You've bought a fly fishing pole uh, set up, and you've got waders. And, and I love it. Right. So finally, last year, you decided... Screw it. I, yeah. need, a, I need somebody to we teach me. We need a me. guide. <laughs> My name is Ed Dutilly. I'm a fishing guide in Jackson, Wyoming. What's the goal, <laughs> Michelle? I said, I just need to catch one fish. He's yeah, like, he said, that's, and that's easy. That's easy. Yeah, you, you did that yeah. and a few more as well. Yeah. But uh, that was a great, great you day. Yeah. We did a half day, and it turned out to be a full cut day. High five. Yeah. Got your fish. Mark, get back in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> I would recommend him to anybody <laughs> that wants to hire him. So we have his info, too. Right. Okay. Where are we now? I think we've done pretty much. Oh, okay. Here's another one. This could be one of the last one. The Moose Wilson Road. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And we had we had there. another, and that's a great place to to find moose. And yep. we had our, our last trip last fall, a close encounter. I got trouble. Oh, Mark got in trouble. Right. So uh, we were leaving the the area. Moose Wilson Road is between Moose Junction and Wilson, the little town of Wilson. It's it's known for moose sightings. We've seen them just down in the ravine many times, mm -hmm. but we didn't see them this this particular time. So we're we're coming back. We're leaving, and then we see a bunch of cars that are parked alongside of the road, and we know there's a some something, a sighting. Something something's there. Yeah. So we park. And we see this this big moose coming toward us, or toward the, the cars, and we can't move because no, we were we really were stuck in traffic. Right, right. Because everybody stops. So we don't, we don't know where the moose is going. Right, and he's coming right for us, straight right for, for our van. Mark has the door open, <laughs> and he literally. I think you have a picture or a video of him just walking behind the van, right. and then here comes Mister. Badass right. ranger. Well, you know, and they have to be because then <laughs> and I got in trouble. I get in trouble every year. I many never times get in trouble. Year. They just they just lay, right. look right past me and go well, straight I was, for Bradshaw. I was uh, what <laughs> what asked for forgiveness later. Yeah, right. He's, so yeah. he said you're way too close, way too close. I go, I'm stuck here. I can't move there. But you know, they don't he didn't care. care. They don't care, no. and I don't care either if I can get, get the, the shot, shot. safely. All right. You're such a liar. Um, we've also <laughs> saw, we've seen bear, bear up on oh, that Oh, yeah. Road. Yeah. There's a baby right there. See it? Mm -hmm. Right there. I mean, it's almost like in, in the Grand Tetons. And it just seems like there's just tons, hmm. tons more wildlife than any place else we've ever been. Right. Okay. There's one, one more. I think this is the last one. You can see wildlife on your hike whatever your hike is, mm -hmm. and in your campground. So first of all, the right. hike. Right. Uh, was it last year or the year before we took the Cascade Canyon mm -hmm. hike? Mm -hmm. One of the most popular hikes. It kind of, for a while, goes wrong along Jenny Lake. Yeah. And then it goes up Cascade Canyon. That's and, a great hike. Almost anybody can do that hike. Right. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, you, we heard something rustling uh, next to the trail. Yeah. And we looked in and we saw him in the brush. A, a big moose. He was a right. A bull moose. Bull moose. He was huge. Huge. So he's kind of, we don't know where he's going, but he's kind of going parallel with us, but we know he's there. So we come to this spot in the in the trail, and we, we see that he's going to cross right in front of us. Right, right. So we, we stop, and there's other people be, behind us. Close. Yeah, get, away, get over here. Oh, my God. We don't want to get too close to her. And then you've got people coming the other way. And this one woman, I think she was on her phone. She was not la -di -da. And then she looks up and like 10 feet away is the big horns and everything from this moose. And uh, Yeah, so yeah. scary. And then we saw him or another one later just laying down yeah. in the water. Mm -hmm. But that's a great hike. It's a good hike. And, I would do that hike again and again. Yeah, yeah. And, and I think we got started a little bit late. And the weather was kind of getting a little dicey. So we didn't go as far as we want to go. Right. Right. But I think we'll do that again. Mm -hmm. So any hike that you're on, uh, of course, take bear spray. Oh, gosh, yeah. And bears. I do the bells. I just put them on my backpack. Okay. The start of that hike, we, we started out, and remember the beautiful scenery, the bridge there with the backdrop mm -hmm. of the uh, mountains? Mm -hmm. And I think we were just uh, mesmerized by that. And we didn't... Uh, Thing. Oh, we left the bear spray. Right. So we're going about a mile, two miles, and I go, I forgot the bear spray. So we had to make a decision. And I, and I thought, okay, 
um, do we just keep going without the bear spray or go back to the, the van? And we went back to the van. You have to. You've got to do that. You have and to. And then when we came back, we, we lost time there, came back soon after that, there was a big sign about... Bear spray. Bear spray, bears Danger. ahead, and all that stuff. So wherever you are. Yeah, because we see them all the time. So you better have bear spray because you never know when one's going to go, gonna go crazy. Spray. I don't know. Well, yeah, but the stupid thing is, is that we know better. And we have two of these cans of spray that sit in our van all the time. <laughs> we always forget them. I've got one too. Everybody that I see walking on this trail today has had bear spray in their hand, not on their hip. They're usually carrying it. I'm not doing that, but I'll keep it on my hip. Okay, see ya. <laughs> and also the campground. The campground is a good place to to spot wildlife. And, and our favorite spot, Signal Mountain right. Campground. Yeah. Remember the, um, when we saw the bear there and what yeah. happened there? <laughs> yeah, Mark was setting up his hammock, getting all cozy. Right. I just spent like a half hour setting up the hammock. I was tired. <laughs> we were just uh, coming into the campground, so I laid down, and I hear immediately, I hear you yell, bear. Yeah. But I think right before that, I also said, I hope he falls out of that thing. <laughs> Right, you told me that, so I'm thinking, okay, this is a joke. You want me to fall out, so you're going to you know, say that there's a bear there. Yeah. So I said, sure. Yeah. No, and I just kind of laid my head down, and she said, no. No, there really is, there a, bear is a bear right bear. behind you. Right, right behind you. Right. Yeah. It was about 20 feet behind me going across uh, behind me there. Yeah. So we did a, a Turon thing. Yeah. We, instead of running away from the bear, we chased after it. Yeah, he was running around. Yeah, yeah, right. He and just, they're looking for bears. Yeah, he wasn't just sauntering. He wasn't, he wasn't like, looking <laughs> to to slaughter anybody, but uh, <laughs> so so instead of going, okay, we went instead of going back to the uh, camper. Yeah. And yeah. picking up the bear spray first. No. We just went. Just in ran. fact, I don't even think I took my camera. Mm -mm. We just went chasing after the bear. Yeah, I had my phone. So right. Yeah. And, and we did another stupid thing. We split up, and I said, "Well, one of us will spot the bear." Yeah. And I did. It, yeah, and that person will probably get mauled and then <laughs> get killed. So, yeah. So you saw the bear, yeah. and then you know we were yelling here. He's over here. So I, I did see it as yeah. well. Yeah. And I think they come to that campground too because of the lake. Yeah. Oh yeah. They go down on the shore. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. Cool. It's a so, beautiful, beautiful campground. And I think that's any campgrounds you're going to see or have potential of seeing bears. Yeah, so Groundabout, we started with Signal Mountain going up. That's where we started today. And then that's right across the street is basically that campground. Mm -hmm. So it's a yeah. it's just a great little area. There's yeah. also a restaurant, a little little hotel. Mm -hmm. So um, we go out there and we have dinner. It's nice. Yeah. So if you don't yeah. want to camp, you can always stay at the hotel. Right. Yeah. And they have showers there as well. Yes, so, I mean, our camper van has a shower, but, you know, that's a coin-operated shower. Like, yeah, like seven, eight, eight minutes. Eight minutes and, like, seven bucks or something. I don't know. And They're tokens. And, and, starts and to you're beep, hurrying. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> Give me a token. Give Rinse, a off token. Yeah. Rinse off fast. Rinse off fast. But that, no. that's a nice uh, luxury to have when you're camping. It, it's clean, and it has um, laundry room and everything. Right. Yeah. So this is not, you know, if you're concerned, this is not prim primitive camping no. at all. No. It's not boondocking. No. Uh, we haven't done that yet. We want to try the boondocking. Mark always wants to do that. I don't want to get killed. Well, I mean, I mean, you you can't do that inside a national park, but you can do it right outside in the national forest. Yeah. And there are spots where yeah. other people boondock, so you're not all by yourself. No, if you couldn't get a campsite, you could do that right outside the park. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Or you can just go to the Walmart parking lot. <laughs> that's true. In Jackson. Yeah, that's okay. true. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that those are our eight spots to. Um, to see wildlife in Grand Teton National Park, and uh, it's it's almost guaranteed that yep. you're going to see. You, it, well, I could guarantee you're going to see some wildlife every day. Yeah, just open your eyes, right? <laughs> yes. And when you're on a hike, yeah, don't be on the phone on all the phone. time. Yeah, you know, I mean, a lot of times if you have, yeah. and I'm 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 behind you, yeah, hiking behind Mark you, knows. and I and you're on your phone hiking away. I say, look up. Yeah. You can do this another time. You can do this at home. You yeah. can be on your phone. I'm a realtor. But look at that. I got to work. Gorgeous. You don't see this anywhere no. except here. Yeah, I know. Right. But that's right. the beauty of my job. I can right. also work. And, and you want to look up, not only to see in the mountains and the lake and the trees and all that, but there could be wild animals. Right. 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 There could be a bear right there right. or a moose, or, which there was. Or a snake. 
Or a snake. We see. haven't seen snakes, have we? One. That we did. one we did. Uh-huh. Right. Uh-huh. Where did we spot scared that? scared the well, shit out of me. Yeah. Went what, right what? over the, the trail. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, he was looking for water. He was I'm looking sure. for water. Yeah, that's right. right. He was, right. for sure. <laughs> okay. So it was a hot day. All right. Yeah. That's that's one of our favorite uh, national parks, and uh, we're going to go back and uh, spot more wild animals, and we'll have more pictures and videos of those next time. Never gets old. Never. Mm-hmm. Never. I want to be a cowboy all around. Load a gun, chase the sun. I want to be a cowboy on the steam. Smoking weed, running free. I guess I'll be a cowboy in my dreams In the breeze, you and me I guess I'll be a cowboy someday